In this video, we'll set up our Firebase app with our Flutter project. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, please go over to github.com slash foldstacks forward slash boxed out. Clone the code. Once you have the code, you can open that up and go into the clients folder and into the customer folder. In that folder, we'll open up a PowerShell or the terminal and inside we will create a new Flutter project for us to work with. And while that's running, I'd like to take nine seconds to ask you to please subscribe and share this video. We would like to reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Once it's created, you can open it up in Visual Studio Code. If you look in the pubspec.yaml, you will see that it has been named after the folder it was created in. The first thing we'll do to set up Firebase will be to add the package dependencies. First one we'll add is Firebase Core. That is now required for all Firebase packages to be used. And the second one is to add Firebase Auth. For Firebase Core, we will use version 0.7.0 and for Firebase Auth, we'll use version 0.20.0. That'll be everything we need to do there for now. I would like to set up the Firebase console project before we continue. Go over to the Firebase console project that you have created. If you haven't created one, Go to add project and follow the wizard to set up your project. I've created a project called boxed out dash production. I use the production because we'll also have a development plan. I've set mine to use the blaze plan, which is pay as you go. It includes all the three categories. If you're only going to be following along with the development of this project, you will never exceed the free plan of the Firebase project. At the top of your project, you can click on add app and we'll start with the Android app. And before we do that, we will update our package ID for the Android application. So open up the build.gradle file in the app folder. We'll change this ID to com.foldstacks.boxedout. You can update the package to the new name. And you can also update the package name in the Android manifest. If you search for com.example.customer, you'll find all the values where it's being used. And we need to update all of those to com.foldstacks.boxedout. You will obviously use your own identifier. That's the one that I'll be using. If we go back to the Firebase console project, we can paste in there com.foldstacks.boxedout. And we'll say boxed out customer. Android. You want to make this specific because we'll be connecting multiple applications for multiple platforms to this project. That includes the driver app as well as the restaurant app. You want to make it as specific as possible. We'll just use boxed out customer Android. Once you've clicked register, you can download the Google services file. This file you can save anywhere you want to and then open up your Visual Studio and place that file inside of your app folder. Take this file and you can place it inside the Android folder, inside the app folder. Next up, we can open up the build.gradle file in the Android folder and we'll add Google services as a dependency in that file. And in addition to that, we have to open up the build.gradle file in the app folder and simply apply this plugin like that apply plugin and use the same plugin without the version number then we'll set this to min sdk 21 that will allow us to get the multi dex enabling automatically without having to add it as a separate property at the bottom the final thing to do for the setup is to go to your main file change the main function to a future make sure that the widgets binding has been initialized and once that is bound, you want to initialize your Firebase application. This is now a requirement for all Firebase packages, regardless of the package that you're using. 
With that done, if you press F5 and you run the code, you should see everything starting up and everything working just fine. That means that our initialization and setup is complete and we can actually start using the Firebase functionality. So next up, I want to actually integrate the package that we'll be using for Firebase authentication, which is also a new package published by Fullstacks this morning. This is all the functionality that we use in production for these four authentication platforms. We'll add this into our project and it will give us certain functions to call that makes handling of the authentication much easier. Just to show you an example, I will activate the email sign up authentication. All you do is you go to your Firebase project, go to authentication, set up a sign up method, click edit, enable and save. So to keep this on track, what I will do is simply change this function call into a future and we'll call this create email account. So what we'll do is for demonstration, add the Firebase authentication service at the top of our state class. Now, as you know, it's never been recommended to use a service inside of the UI code. This is to keep the tutorial short and succinct so that I can show you that the setup is complete and it's usable at this point. For this function, create email account. We'll make that a sync. Then we'll store the result of create account with email. We'll pass in Dane at foldstacks.com password password one two three exclamation mark when the increment button is clicked we will call the create account function that we created i want to print out the result and we'll print the user id of that account that has been created if i press this button as you'll see notifying about this new user and then printing out the result if we go over to the firebase backend and we go to the users you'll now see that the email has been created so it takes you about five minutes to set up the firebase project and get your authentication into the application and that's basically it for the ios project you can open up your project for the boxed out customer app go back to the firebase console project then we'll add a new app we'll use the same bundle id as the android id that we used which was for me was com.foldstacks.boxed out we'll go to the runner and we'll change our bundle id to match that then you can go back to the firebase project and download your google info file when you have that file you can right click on the runner or double click if you're using the trackpad and select the add files to runner and then select your google info file that's all the setup you would need for ios and everything else should work exactly the same that will be it for this week next week we can start with the login and the sign up functionality and fully integrate the firebase authentication that will be in the next few videos so i'm looking forward to starting the actual application building if you guys have any questions make sure to go to github.com slash out. you can file an issue if you have a questions or you can join us over on the slack where we have a boxed out channel that's dedicated to talking about the boxed out project thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week